it is hammer time. Oh, wait a sec. I forgot to set my watch back. It's standard time. And I guess I really need to work on that, huh? Well, given that it is standard time, I will be standarding this with a, one of my old favorites, Metalwork Colossus. This deck debuted at Pro Tour Kaladesh when Kaladesh came out because the deck is, I would say, a majority of the Kaladesh cards. Um, it is currently Aether Revolt Standard, and I thought I would revisit this deck. Um, it was never really Tier 1 by any means, and it's definitely not now. It's not even really on the radar, so I'm hoping to use the Element of Surprise. So, the name of the deck is Metalwork Colossus because it is based around this card. This card is a large 10-10 artifact creature. It costs 11 colorless mana, well, I guess they call it generic now, uh, which is also colorless, you, but it costs X less to cast, where X is the total converted mana cost of non-creature artifacts you control. It's similar to Affinity, where it has a critical mass of something to reduce its cost, but instead of it being actual artifacts permanence in play, it's the cost of the artifacts, which can add up faster. Um, it doesn't let you play a lot of l cheap 1 to 0 mana artifacts to accelerate a cost reduction, but when you play a few permanents, that cost reduction is greater. So the scaling works a bit different, but that's effectively what the deck is synergized and based around. is It's making this cost as little or zero as possible, as little as possible or zero. And it has some attrition, because you can sacrifice two artifacts to return it from your graveyard to your hand. So these things just keep coming back, they're big, they attack in, they're hard to keep dead. I mean, if you exile them, that's one way, but there's not a lot of good exile in standard at the moment. Uh, with that, the primary way that you will be able to get this card to cost less will be the following artifacts. I can just maneuver these over here. This stack of artifacts here involves everything that's not a creature. So while these are in play, you can count up the sum of their mana cost, and that will reduce the cost of Metalwork Colossus. Now, although this card is a creature, and its mana cost will not reduce it, its ability does. So you just count one toward its total. Um, as far as that goes, the deck also has a little bit of a backup synergy, I suppose, because sometimes it just doesn't, the pieces don't fall together to work with Metalwork Colossus. Either you're not quite, you don't quite have enough, or you don't actually find a Colossus. And you can kind of beat them down with the vehicle game plan. The vehicles in the deck are Sky Sovereign and the Cultivator's Caravan, which have pretty good cost per power and ability. And Cultivator's Caravan is just great. Might be secretly the best card in the deck, because um, it, 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 this is a three color deck, or two with a splash. I am playing the Splash of Greens with Sylvan Scrying still. The very first version of the deck I came across in the feature match of Pro Tour Kaladesh played it. I thought it was an excellent play. Almost everyone else has dropped it, the Sylvan Scryings. And I don't blame them because the card can be a little bit of a blank and it's a little slow. My logic is Sylvan Scrying, aside from just getting a land and maybe helping you hit your land drop, counts as an extra copy of Metalwork Colossus because you either find an Inventor's Fair that goes to get one or you find Sanctum of Ugin, which gets additional copies if you already have one. So effectively, I'm playing seven copies of Metalwork, so I'm going to find it. Now, obviously, it's not literally seven copies because I won't have seven in play. I won't have seven in a uh, sum of in play in my hand or the graveyard or in the deck. And also, it doesn't count toward a Glint Nest Crane trigger to find it because I can't obviously hit the Sylvan Scrying off the Glint Nest Crane. But there's a lot of ways to find Sylvan, or, uh, excuse me, Metalwork Colossus in the deck because you can either draw uh, one of the Inventor's Fairs or in Sylvan Scrying or the Colossus itself or you could dig for it with Crane. Several ways to find it and it really does synergize well. Now I'm not playing the full 4 Foundry Inspector. I was down to 2 for a while. I'm kind of debating on where to be at on that because I main board Chandra Flamecaller. This is kind of my little splash. I've been playing it since the Kaladesh days. I haven't really seen anyone else play it, um, especially in the main board, but I feel like it does fit in the deck well. What it gave the deck that I thought was missing was a main board sweeper or board wipe that you played because the deck can be a little soft to fast aggressive decks and this kind of helped that curve but the other two abilities are extremely relevant um, being able to recycle your hand with a lot of just bad artifacts that might not do much later in the game or sylvan scryings and draw fresh uh, new cards plus one is pretty excellent but also 
the tokens that it creates, being at three power, can crew the vehicles. These are both crew three. So that's that's it's just a very powerful card. Usually I use it for the last ability. But uh, with that, I I won't play a full set of Foundry Inspector because they usually just die to the Chandra themselves. In fact, I've played zero. Um, one of the notable things is I'm also only playing one Deep Fiend. Um, don't know if that's correct either. I've gone back between one and two depending on how many Foundry Inspectors I've played. Right now I want to try three, so kind of down to one. I don't want to have too many um, non-creature artifacts that, I guess, non-non-creature artifacts that don't help the synergy. Uh, but with that being said, Cyborg uh, is pretty straightforward. I added a Deadlock Trap because he's a thing in the shocks. But the rest of it was like the previous one. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with it, but you guys can check out those videos on it. I'm going to hop into a game real quick, and let's see if we can crush our opponent with some 10-10s. Ten